So I've now driven all the tuning pins to depth. And um, to do this, I employed a 16 ounce hammer, which has a good heft to it. And um, a tool uh, designed for such with a uh, piece of hard leather uh, protecting the top of the tuning pins and keeping it from getting jammed. And then a tongue depressor, slightly shaped and taped, but also super glued into place because uh, the tape alone will not hold it firmly enough and there's a, a risk that your gauge gets shorter and shorter <laughs> and uh, your pins drive deeper and deeper. So anyway, um, I'm now uh, dealing with beckets and coils. I've gone through and with the aid of a screwdriver and a lighter weight hammer, um, tapped down the the backs of um, coils that were covering the um, rear exit of the of the becket hole. In order to set the beckets. Um, the tool that I normally use, if I were stringing, it would just be a matter of going through and, and seating, you know, final seat, any that were slightly loose. But in this case, we've got all manner of, um, of, of beckets and it, particularly in the larger wire, this has been um, a saving grace. Um, gives me the leverage I need and is small enough to get in between the tuning pins. A nice detail uh, the Velti has are wider diameter hitch pins between sets of, um, of bridge pins. So you have a string, 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 and the middle string has a larger hitch pin than the uh, two outer strings, which makes it easier to have the spacing be even. Another detail in the preparation um, has to do with the bridge pins. And ideally, the bridge pin holes are drilled evenly to an appropriate depth, and the bridge pins are driven all the way down to the bottom of that hole. Now, these may or may not be, and that's a hazard if you're resetting them. If you whack a bridge pin uh, and it goes right into the bridge, you've got a problem. Um, however, uh, where over time, uh, from the string bearing against the side of the pin, if the string is in that wear mark and it's worked its way up, it's elevated from the bridge, um, seating the bridge pin will also seat the string. Now, I just use um, a spinet shank, and if it Expires and splits, and it's no big deal. I'll just take another. Okay, I fashioned a maple drift, um, cut a little piece of bridge stock off, and softened the edges of it, rounded it out a bit. It has an advantage to being on the wide side, and that is that if you are spanning two bridge pins at a time, you're less likely to go too far. 
Now I found actually that these bridge pins were bottomed out um, originally and they are significantly worked up. So here are three, well from here over I've already um, seated them. Please like, subscribe, or follow the link in the notes to my website.